Jackson, Georgia, population 5,000, county seat of Butts County. Walking around the square gives you the feeling of being a lot farther from Atlanta than just the 75-minute drive. Jackson has had its problems, but for the most part, it is a healthy, growing, reasonably prosperous community. For the 148 years since its founding, the people who've lived here have worked to build Jackson to get it through the tough times. They're satisfied with what they have. One morning, just a few weeks ago, the people of Jackson, Georgia, land of High Falls and Indian Springs, woke up to find that the electric chair had been moved from Reedsville State Prison to the Georgia Diagnostic Center just a few miles out of town. The fact that the chair was brought into Jackson uh, to me is the most detrimental thing that's ever happened to our citizens of Jackson and Butchkin in a long, long time. C.B. Brown has been mayor of Jackson since 1962 and has been in city government since 1958. He knows the city and its people, and he feels the presence of the electric chair will deeply hurt his community. Say you were in Atlanta talking to an industrialist, and, and uh, the Department of Industry and Trade or someone up there said, well, we got a nice little town down in Jackson. It's halfway between Atlanta and Macon, and he says, wait a minute, isn't that uh, the town I read about where the electric chair is, I think it would have a detrimental effect in that and a lot of other ways. The people of Jackson feel cheated. They are angry and they agree with their mayor. It's going to bring notoriety to our quite good little town and we don't want that. We don't want it at all. I think if the news media would just keep things a little quiet, half the people in Butts County would not know the electric chair was here. I think they should have left it in Reedsville. We've been a peaceful little small time for a long time, and I think we should have stayed that way. What's in a name? You ask that to Jackson Mayor C.B. Brown, and he will tell you plenty. First of all, he'll tell you that it's not the Jackson Diagnostic Center. It's the Georgia Diagnostic Center. Secondly, he'll tell you it's not located in Jackson, Georgia, but rather in a little Georgia community called Bucksnort. When you do your reports from out there, he told me, you sign it off from Bucksnort, Georgia. Let the folks figure out where that is. Okay, CB, from Bucksnort, Georgia, Mark Picard, Action News.